Jackie Agunyon is a single mother, but she says she has long endured a life of hardship and poverty. Her father, an ex-U.S. serviceman, left her and her mother when she was just two years old. I tried to find him, who he really is. I just wanted to see him. I would have felt complete because something was missing. She works at this orphanage now that is also home to other abandoned Amerasian children. Like her, many of them were born to impoverished women who were working on the outskirts of former American bases in Ilongapo in northern Philippines. The U.S. naval base in Subic Bay was the largest military installation outside the U.S. mainland for almost 50 years. And this town became one of the biggest red light districts in the country. By the time U.S. bases closed here in 1992, at least 50,000 children are believed to have been born to U.S. fathers. Some of them left behind by mothers who were either unable to bear the social stigma or just too poor to support them. In 1982, the United States Congress voted to grant U.S. citizenship to Amerasians from Vietnam, Korea, and other Asian countries. But it has excluded the Philippines, despite it being one of the strongest U.S. allies in Asia. And now, a new military agreement between the Philippine government and the U.S. means an increased U.S. military presence in the country. Many here believe that the United States has a moral obligation to look after its forgotten children. The expansion of U.S. troops here, uh, which is growing, uh, we fear that uh, they may join the sex tourists and exploit more of the Filipino women and leave them abandoned when they're pregnant. And uh, we have more children here that will be you know, uh, living a life of dire poverty and hardship. But the U.S. Embassy has not said anything about a change in its policy. In a statement, it insists that it's taking its responsibility to U.S. citizens abroad while carefully assessing all citizenship claims. Jackie says Amerasian children like her are a forgotten community, long been discriminated and living on the fringes of society. Jamal Alindog and Al Jazeera, Olongapo, Northern Philippines.